Hi, this is Dr. Ari with your medical terminology video, and we're going to look at therapeutic procedures of the digestive system. So let's start with dental procedures. A bridge is a dental appliance to replace missing teeth. It is attached to adjacent teeth for support, so it bridges you know, a gap between two teeth. A crown is an artificial covering for a tooth that is created to replace the original enamel. A denture is a partial or a complete set of artificial teeth. An extraction is a removal or pulling of teeth. A gingivectomy is a surgical removal of gum tissue that has pulled away from the teeth. An implant is a prosthetic device in the jaw to anchor a tooth. And a root canal is a treatment involving the pulp cavity of the root of a tooth. It is used to save an infected tooth. Uh, so let's move on to medical procedures. An enema is an injection of fluid through the rectum and into the large intestine. Uh, gavage is the use of a nasal gastric tube to place liquid nourishment into the stomach. And lavage is the use of a nasal, nasal gastric tube or an NG tube to wash out the stomach. Or maybe if they swallowed something like poison or some, uh, you know, too many pills or something like that. Nasogastric intubation, or an NG tube, is an insertion of a flexible catheter through the nose down the esophagus into the stomach. And total parenteral nutrition, or TPN, is providing 100% of the patient's nutritional needs intravenously. Now, the surgical procedures, um, anastomosis is a surgical creation of a connection between two organs or vessels. And appendectomy is a surgical removal of the appendix, due to appendicitis, usually. Bariatric surgery is a group of surgical procedures that are used to treat morbid obesity by reducing the stomach size or by diverting food from part of the alimentary canal. Um, cholecystectomy is the surgical removal of the gallbladder. And cholecolithotripsy is the crushing of a gallstone in the common bile duct. A colectomy is the surgical removal of the colon or part of the colon. A colostomy is the surgical creation of an opening of some portion of the colon through the abdominal wall to the outside surface of the body. So a colostomy often follows a colectomy and wherever the colostomy opening is, is where poop comes out or you have a poop bag. So uh, that's you know, the effect of it. Diverticulectomy is the surgical removal of a diverticulum, which is an outpouching in the colon. Exploratory laparotomy is an abdominal operation for the purpose of examining the abdominal organs and tissues for signs of disease or abnormalities. Uh, fistulectomy is a surgical removal of an anal fistula. Gastric banding is a laparoscopic bariatric surgical procedure. It places a restrictive band around the top portion of the stomach and it's supposed to limit how much the stomach can contain and before decrease eating. A gastric bypass is a bariatric surgical procedure that divides the stomach into two portions and it connects the upper portion directly to the small intestine. A gastrectomy is the surgical removal of the stomach. Gastric stapling is a procedure that closes off a large section of the stomach with staples. A gastrostomy is a surgical procedure to create an opening in the stomach. A hemorrhoidectomy is the surgical removal of hemorrhoids from the anal rectal area. And hernioplasty is a surgical repair of a hernia, also known as, also called herniorraphy. Ileostomy is a surgical creation of an opening in the ileum, which is part of the small intestine. Laparop Scopic cholecystectomy is a surgical removal of the gallbladder through a small abdominal incision using a laparoscope. And laparotomy is a surgical incision into the abdomen. The liver transplant is an implantation of a donor liver. And a palatoplasty is a surgical repair of the palate. 
uh, pharyngoplasty is the surgical repair of the throat. A proctopexy is the surgical fixation of the rectum in anus, usually, for example, if it prolapsed. And then lastly, we're going to look at some pharmacology for the digestive system. An anorexia suppresses the appetite to treat obesity, like obesine and adipex. Antacids neutralize stomach acids, like Tums, Maalox, and Atlanta. And antidiarrheal is used to control diarrhea, like Imodium, uh, Lomotil, and Chiopectate. An antiemetic treats nausea, vomiting, and motion sickness, like Compazine or Phenergan. Herpes antivirals are used to treat herpes simplex infections, like Valtrex and Zovivore. Uh, uh, sorry, and Zovirax. Uh, my mind just went, Valtrex, I think, has uh, been taken off the market, though. So, uh, Zovirax. And uh, an H2 receptor antagonist blocks H2 receptors, which are histamine receptors, by the way, in the stomach, which reduces acid production. These are Zantac, Tagamet, and Pepsid. Uh, and those are also known as proton pump inhibitors. I'm sorry, no, the, the proton pump inhibitors are Nexium and Prilosec, but H2 receptor antagonists are Zantac, Tagamet, and Pepsid. Uh, both of those, if used long term, can cause all kinds of other digestive issues, so just be careful. And then a laxative treats constipation by stimulating a bowel movement in that Cynocot and Metamuso, for example. So, uh, yeah, lastly, again, the proton pump inhibitors or PPIs, they block also stomach acid's ability to secrete acid, so they both uh, mess with stomach acid uh, production, and that's Nexium and Prilosec. So that wraps up our uh, pharmacology and all of our therapeutics for the digestive system.